welcome to Kayla's World. I'm Kayla Knew, aspiring author, and today I'm going to be doing a video all about Preptober, but more specifically, how to create a writing routine slash what my writing routine looks like and how I create a writing routine. Um, so as we all know, NaNoWriMo is coming up quickly. Um, and so in preparation for that, I have kind of reconstructed my writing routine. So I already had a writing routine, but I'm actually currently in the middle of changing careers slash hours. Um, if you guys didn't already know, I work a normal full-time job. Um, before I used to work like 32 and a half hours during the week. And with my new position, I'm going to be working 46 hours of the week, which means less time for writing. So I had to create a new writing routine that I'm going to use for my writing and for NaNoWriMo. Um, so the way I kind of started with this is I actually have it written down on this piece of paper, which is actually one of the pages out of um, this lovely Preptober workbook that I have from Natalia Lee. Um, I'm going to link her video below. I actually got her workbook last year and I used it to create my outline for NaNoWriMo and I really liked it so obviously I got it again this year. Um, so I'm actually using one of the pages from that, not as it's supposed to be used, well, sort of. Um, Using it because I accidentally printed several copies of this because my printer had issues. Um, so I'm using a loose page. It's not from the full thing. It's a separate page. Anyway. So what I have here is basically all of the days of the week. So for starters, obviously I have to account for my work hours. So I'm using this sort of calendar spreadsheet here and I have my work hours listed right through the middle of the week so that I know exactly what time of day I am working and what hours of the day I am working and that is down on here because obviously I have to work around that. Um, the second thing that I have on here is my workouts. So I work out a lot, <laughs> sort of. Um, so I used to be a personal trainer, so obviously working out is really important to me. So I work out mm, an hour-ish each day. Um, and so I work out before work because I work at a gym. So it's really easy to work out and then go right into working. So it works out really nicely for me. Um, so I have my workout hours listed right there because it happens before my work hours. Um, and then in the top here, I actually, you know, wrote down basically what time I have to wake up in the morning and what time I have to leave to be able to get to the gym, to be able to work out at my planned workout times and then work my work schedule. Um, and so this is a little different than what I did before because before I used to be able to wake up and write and then work out and then work. Um, but now because my work hours have changed, I have to work out before work and I'm gonna have to write after work. Um, so, and you got to be realistic when you make this for yourself, so you'll notice that I have a lot of times and a lot of days, and it's kind of a tight schedule, um, but so after work, obviously I have to eat, um, so I have time on here for eating, and any like miscellaneous like household stuff is also in this column, so on the weekends is usually when I'll get like my grocery shopping done, or if I need to vacuum the house, things like that, um, so you definitely like... When you're creating your writing routine, you want to think about those things that you have to do for your life, you know, like feeding your cats and such, because <laughs> they need food. Um, and so that's kind of what my column after work is eating, right? So eating dinner and then miscellaneous household things. I got my trash night written down on there, so I remember to take out the trash. Um, and then I have a weekly event on Thursday nights that takes up a chunk of my time. Um, so obviously I won't be able to write during that time. And so you'll notice, um, you may or may not actually be able to see this on my schedule here. Um, but Thursdays is my only day off from writing. And that is because I have a, an obligation that I have every Thursday. Um, <clears throat> so basically I 
filled in my calendar with everything that I have to do every day um, between work, you know, I mean, if you have kids and things like that that you have to schedule around, um, put everything that you have to do and include, you know, like time for eating and time for, you know, showering and like all that good stuff. And then after that, you'll be able to see how much time you have available to um, put towards your writing. And obviously you want to schedule sleeping time too, because you know, people need sleep. Um, so at the very bottom here, I have a bedtime. And so the bedtime is kind of, it's not like a strict bedtime, but it's more or less like if I want to get eight hours of sleep based off the time I'm going to wake up the next morning, that's the time I need to be sleeping by. <laughs> so, you know, I could go to bed earlier or later than that, but that is the time that I would give me eight hours of sleep. Um, but yeah, so for my writing, I have basically two hours of writing every single day is what I have on here, except for Thursdays. Um, Thursdays is my day off, but the other six days of the week, I have two hours of writing scheduled in the evenings um, before I go to bed. And we're gonna see how that goes because I have not had to do that before. Um, and then on Sundays, I have a little time block for doing my YouTube videos. Um, so that is scheduled on there. Um, so it's a very like kind of comprehensive writing schedule, writing routine. Um, this is something that I want to be able to do year round up until, you know, I get my book completed and then more books. So. I've made it very maintainable. Obviously for NaNoWriMo, I might have to increase some of my writing hours, so I might need to fit in more time on the weekends to be able to get the word count that I need for NaNoWriMo if I can't get my word goals in my two hour time blocks. Um, but yeah, so that is kind of the first thing that I've done so far is I made a writing routine that fits around my current or my new working schedule. Um, and then the second page, which is actually supposed to be a live stream calendar, but I'm just using it as my NaNoWriMo calendar tentatively. Um, so, <laughs> I will say this. There are, is a holiday in November where you spend a lot of time with your family. And so last year for NaNoWriMo, I was like, oh, it's totally fine. I'm going to be off work. I'm going to have all this time to write. Um, wrong. <laughs> so... I learned the hard way that those days that I'm going to be spending at home with my family because I'm going to have to travel for that, I'm not really going to get any writing done. So I have scheduled this calendar with days off. Um, so obviously that week where Thanksgiving is, all those days are going to be days off. And then my goal is to be able to have Thursdays off from writing, um, again, because I have something that I do on Thursday nights, which, eh, I mean, it could kind of be rearranged if I needed to, but my goal is to have those nights off, and so what I've done is I've calculated, you know, with these, what is that, like, there's like seven days off, um, I calculated how many words I would need to write each day so that I could have those days off, just kind of preparing for them because I have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to write during those days. Um, I would have to do 2,174 words a day. <sighs> yeah, so I basically have my tentative NaNoWriMo kind of calendar and word count goal set up along with my writing routine schedule so hopefully I can write 2,000 and some words in two hours I don't know if that's too extreme for me I think it's very manageable I know on some of my editing days I've gotten close to 2,000 words in a day um, but I think editing is a little bit slower than just kind of like free writing um, but yeah so if you need you know, recommendations for creating a writing routine. Um, definitely be realistic. Think about everything that you have to do. Um, holidays, just, you're not going to get writing done. Don't, don't, don't think you're going to get writing done on the holidays because it's holidays and it's just, I mean, maybe, maybe if you don't do anything, but for me, I was totally wrong. I could not write during the holidays. Um, 
But yeah, so I mean, think about your work, think about, you know, if you have kids or pets that, you know, have a routine. Um, you also probably want to think about your meal plan. So I didn't mention meal planning on here at all because I've been meal planning for like a year or so now. Um, so I eat the same thing most days um, and it's all very quick and easy because I don't like to cook, um, which is actually very compatible for NaNoWriMo. Um, but I know that cooking and eating is going to be a big chunk of time that you might not think about when you're making your writing plan for NaNoWriMo. So, you know, during this Preptober time, make a schedule for yourself and, you know, be realistic. You might have to, like, or you might want to make meal plans where you, you know, maybe you meal prep at the beginning of the week so that you have time throughout the week to do your writing. Or you maybe your meals for that month are going to be like the quick and easy, you know, frozen dinners or, you know, whatever else it is that you like to eat, you know, eat some, you know, nuts, trail mix, whatever it is that is going to get you through your writing. Um, but definitely think of that ahead of time and preptober. Totally, you know, like get your food, get, get whatever you need so that you are prepared to be able to achieve your goals for NaNoWriMo. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I've done for my schedule. Um, I have not necessarily picked out my project yet, so more than likely I'm gonna continue with my book that I'm already sort of in the middle of, but I've been editing it, so my concern is that Editing takes longer than fast drafting for me, so I might not be able to hit the word count goals through editing slash writing new chapters. So I'm contemplating writing another book during camp or during NaNoWriMo. But we'll see. But yeah, so that's really all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions on, you know, creating a writing routine or if you have any questions about my writing routine or how I do it with you know working and full time and all that jazz um, please comment below if you want to share what you do for your writing routine or what works for you comment below um, let me know if you like these types of videos by giving me a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel I put out new videos on Mondays Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed your time here in Kayla's world.